This is a first edition of Two Stories by Virginia Woolf. My name is Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington. Um, we have this book today. This is a very important book and it's the first publication of the Hogarth Press which was run by Virginia and Leonard Woolf. Um, it was published in Richmond um, at the Hogarth Press. Um, it's very arts and crafty. Essentially this is it's a self um, uh, self-made by Leonard and Virginia and literally they went down to the local um, shop and bought some wallpaper and that makes up the cover here. Actually I'm going to start again, I'm doing the wrong order, sorry. Um, you should say hand printed. Hand printed, thank you. Because that's the printed, they bought a press, hand printed it. And thank you. And then it up themselves. Yeah, yeah, but also I'll do that afterwards, I want to show you why inside first. Okay. And also I dropped it and I should have kept it up. <clears throat> this is a first edition of Two Stories by Virginia Woolf. My name is Pom Harrington and I'm the owner of Peter Harrington. This book is rather special, it's certainly very rare. Um, it's the first publication of the Hogarth Press, which was the press owned by Leonard and Virginia Woolf. Um, let me open up and we can look at some of the details inside. And if I show the title page here, we can see publication number one, two stories, written and printed by Virginia and Leonard Wolfe, Hogarth Press, Richmond, 1917. There were only 150 copies printed of this book. Um, contains the two stories, the three Jew by um, Leonard Wolfe and the mark on the wall by Virginia Wolfe. The woodcuts by Dora Carrington, and we have four woodcuts in here. Leonard and Virginia basically had bought themselves a printing press um, and they cobbled together this book. I mean, it's, it's actually a fairly amateur um, bit of production, but they, in terms of how it's been um, made, um, the, the cover, um, which is this very flimsy um, cloth, actually is wallpaper. Um, they uh, literally went down to the local shop, bought some wallpaper, cut it up and just printed um, over the top of it. And then they, if I open this up, you'll see the stitching is literally just hand stitched together um, at the press. And there we are, and there's the original stitching um, in the middle there. There were three variants of the, uh, the cover because they obviously just ran out of different types of material lying around. So they had red like this one. And they had blue, and actually they did some sort of plain yellow wrappers. Um, the, the red and the blue are, are actually like a cloth-like material, um, and uh, certainly the most desirable of the states. When, when you're looking for a copy of this book, then really what it's all about is the condition. And the condition of this, as you can see on the camera, is actually rather beautiful. And I'm just going to open it up to show the full width. Um, the, the white in the, in the material is very prone to going brown and yellow. And uh, as you can see with this example, it is still extremely white. Uh, there's no restoration or repairs. Um, and you would describe this copy as being really a fine copy. And uh, frankly, a magnificent example of the book. For details of this are the books by Virginia Woolf and the Hogarth Press please see the Peter Harrington website.